everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I'm doing some necessary weeding. The winter weeds are in, well, full steam ahead, really aggressive mode. Even some of them are starting to flower, even though it's only the middle of February. And well, I've just got to rip the band-aid off and devote some time. So I hope this video will be helpful for you to be able to identify the good plants versus the bad plants. And uh, well, we'll inspire you to get outside and spend some time weeding your cottage gardens as well. So I was thinking I'd done a pretty good job of keeping up with weeding, but obviously not. And you can see here all of this lamium. But right now is a great time to pull it up because we're not really wet. So that top layer is, is actually pretty dry. And so you see these seedlings are pulling out without much trouble. The problem is there's so many seedlings. Why are the weeds so capable? I mean, I know it's the question that gardeners have been asking for millennia, but uh, it's just the reality. And if you don't get them, which you never will, you'll never get them all, but you know, if you can try and get them, you'll at least be eliminating the next generation of seeding. To make you not feel bad, I like to show you the weeds that I have because, you know, I live on planet Earth like you. I don't have a weed-free garden. I wouldn't trust a gardener who says they don't have weeds. So I got, I got one little area done. Then you look <laughs> and it's just a mismatch of all kinds of bad stuff. So. Lots of lamium. You see, this this is about getting ready to flower, which means it's gonna start seeding. So it really is important to get it out before it seeds. Ugh, this Carolina geranium. It's, you know, you can see it's got a really good tap root. It's easy enough to pull out, just a matter of actually getting all of them. And of course, chickweed. I mean, this is just like a patch of everything you don't want. <laughs> All in one spot. And I know we weeded this earlier before we seeded it. So we had this totally clean and all of this has come up since, which is a little bit depressing. There's also vetch in here, but a lot of this lamium, which indicates that I didn't get it very well last year, which is why the population is so much. But then look at here. I mean, look at the density of this chickweed. I mean, it's really kind of tough to pull out when it gets to this size, which is why trying to do this earlier in the season is so imperative. Oh man, seeing sections of the garden like this definitely doesn't bring me great joy. <laughs> but it is realistic and I want to share that reality with all of you so that you don't feel bad or feel overwhelmed. And you know, in the right circumstances, it's actually really enjoyable to pull weeds. At least that's what you have to tell yourself. So I guess what I probably need to do is bring the wheelbarrow over and do a bunch of weeding. And really, this shows that I don't have good enough ground plane coverage which th with the good stuff because if this was filled with poppies and larkspur, there wouldn't be room for all of these problem plants. And that's really the lesson that I hope to teach everyone. Don't thin because then it's just an opportunity for problem plants to, to fill in those open spaces. You'd rather have the good plants in mass, not have any of these bad plants. Oh man. Well, one little area accomplished and one little cat that seems to only dig out good things and never digs out the weeds. <sighs> Thank you. 
Well, you can see I got a lot of weeds out and you know, I can't believe how many cleavers were in here. That is this, the Velcro weed it is so bad and there was so much of it. So I'm really glad that I took the time to weed this. And now you can see there's quite a bit of open space. There's a lot of good stuff in here and basically everything that's left is good. So let me show you that. We've got Larkspurs. Hello, little babe. We have either daikon radish or turnip. I'm not sure which we sowed in here. Sorry, we've, we've got a cat that's needing attention. <laughs> Priorities, everyone. And then we have poppies. So these are bread seed poppies here. These are the corn poppies here with the more frilly leaf. And again, a lot of poppies and a lot of larkspur, which is great news, all of that. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do, because I still have some of the giant Pepever somniferum left, I'm gonna go ahead and toss a handful or so in here to fill in the open areas and we'll just see how they do. I have nothing to lose and only knowledge to gain. All right, just gonna bowl some seeds in. Just like that. Well, everybody, I hope this video will be an inspiration for you to get outside and spend some time weeding your borders now while the seeds are, or the seedlings are still small and relatively easy to pull out before they start to flower and set seeds. And as always, thanks so much for watching and happy gardening. Mm -hmm.